Hi, today we are here to learn how to dilute Novorel. Please note that Novorel can also go by the name of Pregnol or Human Chorionic Gonadotropin. HCG is the short name. Your primary care team will guide you as to which medication you will be taking and what your dosage will be of this medication. Please note the Novorel that I am showing is 5,000 units. If you're using 5,000 units, we will dilute it with one milliliter of liquid. Please note your dosage may be different, but for today's purposes, my dosage is 5,000. We will open up the Novorel and remove the vials within this box. I received one vial with lots of powder and I received a vial of water with lots of liquid. You also will need some alcohol swabs and you will need one syringe that is labeled a three milliliter syringe with a 22 one and a half inch needle. We will be using this long needle for mixing. You will need a short needle, which is labeled 27 G half inch for injection. We will first take our vials and remove the caps off of the vials. We will then take alcohol and we will clean and disinfect our vials. Once our vials are disinfected, we will open up our syringe. Since we are using the long needle for mixing, we need to make sure that the needle is safely secured onto our syringe. We are going to twist that needle on, making sure that the connection pieces are nice and secure. Since I am using 5,000 units, I am going to withdraw one milliliter of water into my syringe. In order to get one milliliter of water in my syringe, I first must push in one milliliter of air into the liquid vial. I will pull down on the plunger until my plunger reaches my one line. I will now remove the cap that's on my long needle by pulling it straight off. I will hold my syringe and I will poke the top of my liquid vial. I am going to push in my air and once the air is within the vial, I will invert my vial to the ceiling, always making sure that my needle tip is within the water and I will withdraw one milliliter of water into my syringe. Once I have the one milliliter of water in my syringe, I can remove that syringe from the liquid vial. Please note there's more liquid than you need within this vial. Your primary team will walk you through how many milliliters to use. We will now take the one milliliter of water and insert it into our powder vial. We will poke the long needle through the top of the powder vial and insert all of our liquid into that powder vial. The vial of powder does not mix instantaneously, so you will have to turn that vial as the needle is still within the vial. Once the vial is completely diluted, then you will draw up your mixture into that syringe. In order to draw up your mixture, you will invert the vial to the ceiling, making sure that your needle tip is always within your liquid, and take out everything that you just put in there. You are still going to have one milliliter of fluid. Once your mixture is completely back into your syringe, you will remove that syringe from the vial and now we're ready to take off our long needle and put on our tiny needle to proceed with our injection. Please recap your long needle, twist off the long needle and dispose of it right into your sharps container. We will open up our tiny needle which is labeled 27G half inch and we will 
put it on to our syringe by screwing it on nice and tight, making sure that our connection pieces are nice and secure. We will now get rid of any air that's in that syringe by flicking the syringe, making sure that any air bubbles rise to the top. We will also push the plunger lightly until the very first drop comes out of the needle. Once you have completed that step, you are now ready to inject. Injection will go in your abdomen. Please clean your abdomen with an alcohol swab to disinfect your skin. Once your abdomen is cleaned, we will then remove the cap that's on the needle by pulling it straight off. We will then pinch our skin and inject right into our pinch. Once whole needle is into the skin, you will release the pinch of the skin and you will push down on your plunger to inject all of your medication. Once all of the medication is inside, you are done and you can throw out your used syringe into your sharps container. Please note that the timing of the Novarel will be extremely sensitive as it is time to procedures. Please take it at the adequate time that you are instructed and at the adequate dose that you are given by your primary team. That concludes our Novarel mixing.